Man, you gotta understand that's his that's his fighter. You know, he's gonna he's gonna say anything that he can to hype it up. You know, he knows that guy lost and and so do his team and so do he. The mega fight between Terence Crawford and Israel Madrimov has quickly become one of the year's most controversial bouts. Terence Crawford narrowly claimed victory on points, but here's where it gets interesting. The judges seem to have made an error. It's not surprising. When you're the face of boxing, the judges often favor you, regardless of the circumstances. Eddie Hearn, whose matchroom promotion represented Madrimov, was particularly displeased. Seeing his fighter put in all the effort only to be denied a deserved win isn't something Hearn will easily accept. The situation escalated quickly. The tension between Eddie Hearn and Terence Bud Crawford had been simmering throughout the fight's buildup. But after Hearn publicly questioned Crawford's win, Bud decided to take matters into his own hands. Backstage, after the fight, Crawford confronted Hearn without hesitation. What started as a heated exchange rapidly turned physical, with Crawford landing punches reminiscent of those he threw in the ring against Madrimov. If security hadn't intervened, things could have been far worse for Hearn. While some might criticize Hearn for voicing his opinion, he was merely stating what many considered to be the truth. Yet, it was this honesty that led to the confrontation. Can hoop. I'm probably still better than you at hooping as well. But I'm definitely you better than you. You ain't better than me in nothing. Darts. And talking, that's it. Talking? Cause you talk a good game. You ain't darts. better than me in nothing. Darts. Nothing. Darts. Nothing. Darts. Today Eddie Hearn didn't mince words when analyzing the recent bout. Terence Crawford, the top pound-for-pound -pound fighter, almost got defeated by Israel Madrimov, a competitor with only 10 professional fights. It's akin to LeBron James nearly losing to a high school player. Madrimov's performance exposed significant flaws in Crawford's game, challenging his supposed dominance. Hearn emphasized that Crawford barely eked out a win, sparking discussions among professionals and fans alike that the match should have ended in at least a draw. Close main event, obviously uh, heard what I said. I would say as well, I didn't realize there was two 115, 113s, one 116, 112. I thought there was two 116, 112. I thought Israel Madrimov did enough to edge it tonight. I know there's the, always the argument of dethroning the champion, whether you think that's a thing or not. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure I felt that Bud Crawford dethroned Israel Madrimov tonight, but what we are is extremely proud of him. 10 fights in, and we're debating whether he won a fight against the pound for pound number one. Um, experience would have changed everything. Maybe a little bit more work rate, but it was a fight that we believe we could have edged. Respect to Terence Crawford, he's a great champion. It's nothing against him, but I was just disappointed that, especially one of the judges gave Crawford the last four rounds. The other two judges gave um, Crawford three of the last four rounds. And um, thought it could have- Terence Crawford isn't the unstoppable force everyone thought he was. The excitement peaked in the last four rounds when Madrimov started outboxing Bud. Yet, astonishingly, one of the judges awarded all four of those rounds to Crawford. This decision is especially baffling given that Crawford's corner was urgently telling him he needed to win the final round to secure the victory. But it's like, when so many people thought Madrimov won as well, now maybe not as many as Crawford, but a lot of people, and a lot of people scored it a draw. I just disappointed his champion that he got no respect on the scorecards. One of the, one of the judges gave Crawford the last four rounds. One of the, or the other two judges gave Crawford three of the last four rounds. And the corner, Crawford's corner was so quiet, and they sent him out for that 12th round. Eddie Hearn ensured the world knew his perspective on the fight, prompting Terence Crawford to respond and set the record straight. Here's what Bud had to say after Hearn publicly criticized him. You gotta understand, that's his, that's his fighter, you know. He's gonna, he's gonna say anything that he can to hype it up, you know. He knows that guy lost and, and so do his team and so. The funny part is even Bud knows he didn't deserve that win. Did you catch his post-fight interview? That wasn't the confident talk of a true champion. He gave Madrimov his due credit because, let's be real, it's been a while since Bud faced someone who truly challenged him in the ring.
Oh, great. It was, it was no different from 147, to be honest. Uh, Israel just was a strong uh, opponent, you know, and we knew that coming in the gate. The right hand wasn't bothering me. You know, I wasn't really too much worried about the right hand. You know, he, he landed a couple of times at the end of the round where, where he was trying to steal it around. But um, I just was trying to uh, counter counter him. But at the same time, he had a good game plan. He had a lot of feints. And I was just trying to dictate when he was going to come. And a lot of times I was wrong. I was touching him up with the jab. I think my jab was beating him up uh, uh, all through the fight. But, you know, he, he landed a couple of... Uh, right hands that was telling for the the judges to go or the fans, but it wasn't nothing that I ain't never seen. Terence Crawford's good friend Mike Tyson attended the mega fight, but imagine the disappointment when the heavyweight legend was seen leaving the arena before the fight even ended. Tyson clearly didn't like what he saw. When asked who he thought would win, he kept a straight face and dodged the question. What do you think? Did you give it to tough, tough fight? Tough fight. Nice to meet you, man. Well, they haven't announced the winner, but who do you expect to win, Mike? How's the training coming along? Ryan Garcia kept it real, launching into a full-blown rant and trash-talking Terence Crawford without holding back. However, Garcia might think twice before running his mouth again. Once he hears what happened to Eddie Hearn, after he criticized Bud, Terence Crawford is not someone you want to get on the bad side of. He has a knack for making people regret their words. Crawford is trash. Don't ever compare Crawford to Canelo again. Shout out young Triple G. He did his I felt he won. At least a draw. F the judges. F you weirdos. You guys suck ass. And Crawford, you're not pound for pound, suck a d You never fought nobody good. You fought Spence that had a car accident. F you, bitch. Devin Haney shared his honest thoughts on the fight. And surprisingly, he was impressed with Bud's performance. Haney even suggested that Terence Crawford could beat Canelo Alvarez. Now, that's a little far-fetched if you ask me. Um, it's Magic Mouse putting up a good fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good fight. My bad, sis. I'm, I'm blocking you up. Yeah, um, Maisie! Crawford looks good at 154 right there, so far. Little, she, uh, right there, a little other side. Yeah, yeah. Crawford, he's, 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 the weight is showing, but Crawford is Crawford. He's handling the weight well then, for sure. Um, just based on what you're seeing right now, if he was in there with Canelo, that would be two more weights up. Depending on where he comes in, like 160, 160. Crawford, 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 Crawford. Hey, Crawford. Crawford. Yeah. Devin, would you be surprised? Hey, no more, y'all. We good, we good, we good for the rest of it, man. Lomachenko stood his ground and declared that Madrimov should be the champion. He was highly impressed by Madrimov's performance and believed he had done enough to win the fight. But, as Lomachenko pointed out, boxing is a game. And not everyone plays fair. Fight. Yeah? yeah. Did you have Israel winning? But was, uh, it was a very interesting fight. Very smart fight. So how about compare my fight with Haney? Ah. Madrimo was a champion. Yeah. So it's enough for win mm -hmm. the title? Yeah. Now, let's hear from the main man, Israel Madrimov, about his loss. Madrimov held his head high, acknowledging that while he may have lost on paper, he's undeniably the people's champion. It's not every day we see a fighter like Terence Crawford struggle to get by. But this fight was different, and Madrimov made sure of that. I felt, I felt good. I, I felt proud of myself, and I think I did enough, like Eddie said. Um, you know, Spence is really good. He's pound for pound best. He's, he's one of the best in the world. Um, he was, uh, he's not an easy fight. You know, he knocked out like, the last 10 opponents he fought, Spence and others, you know, the best in the world. Um, I didn't, I didn't feel like it was my toughest fight. Uh, you know, there were some questions about how easy I won my world championship uh, belt in my previous fight. And I think in this fight, I just proved uh, why I was easy then and why I'm a champion and why I deserve to be a champion. They need to run it back because things have gotten icy between them. Eddie Hearn is determined to ensure the rematch happens so he can seek revenge on Terence Crawford. Hearn isn't the type to let disrespect go unchallenged especially after Crawford's attack on him, that crosses a line. Regardless of which side you're on, one thing is certain. This is a story that will stick with us for a long time, serving as a reminder that anything can happen in the boxing world. Respect the fighters, 
or be prepared to face the consequences. That wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming content. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.